Hello there, my name is Jason Schmaltz and I'm an AMJ single pitch instructor and today I'm going to show you how to rescue a climber when you're belaying from above. So Patty's going to be our climber and I'll be the belayer. Uh, in a second I'll lower her down where I'll actually rescue her, but I'm going to have her up here just to weight the line and show you some of the systems up close with the GoPro. Uh, so uh, the most likely scenario this is going to happen where a climber becomes uh, incapacitated, whether it's by rockfall, or they get stuck, or uh, they just have decided they're not going to continue climbing, and, uh, and there's not really a, a way that makes sense to haul them up, is uh, when you're belaying with the gree, gree So that's what we have here. Uh, so in order to uh, kind of get started with this process, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a, a catastrophe knot in my belay line on the back side of the gree, gree. So that's there. And uh, the way that this is going to go is I'm ultimately going to rappel down on the back side of the rope. So not the client's rope, but the back side of the rope and pick off the client similar to how I did when I rescued uh, uh, from the bottom belay position, which we have a video for. We'll put a link in. Uh, so to do that, the first thing I need to do is I need to get this gree, -gree out. Uh, so we can uh, transfer our uh, weight uh, from, on, from this gree, gree onto a prusik. You can also use a climb heist here. I recommend a prusik because you can keep this knot in, or this hitch I should say, in as you go down to pick off the client versus a climb heist is uh, one directional although it might still work uh, in this application. Now I don't have a nice long um, prusik line so I've uh, made a figure eight on a bite in a cordelette so I'll put that on and then I need to make this uh, releasable. So I will attach this to my master point. And I'm going to do a munter on a mule. Can you get that knot up close? So munter on a mule, brake line on the back, and then take the brake line and put it back through. That's my munter. Okay, and then the mule part, make a loop, slip knot through with the bite, okay, and oh, I need a little bit more material. overhand. Okay, one turn the mule. Ugly knot, but able to get out, and then I will lock that. Okay, so you can back up to where you were and go ahead and wait the whole system. So now I have Patty waiting the system, and I'm going to go ahead and unweight this Grigri by letting slack out. So Patty, you're going to go down maybe an inch or two. Okay, as that prusik bites. Okay, good. So uh, before I take the gree, gree out, I want to go ahead and set up um, my repel. So I can't just uh, repel off this uh, prusik. I need to make a new carabiner um, that I can set up my repel on. And understand that some of this material we're going to be leaving behind. Normally when you're rescuing somebody, you're not really worried about getting every last carabiner. Uh, so I understand that I'm going to repel off this carabiner and it's not going to be uh, retrievable, which is fine. <clears throat> so that can come in up here. I can go ahead and have that go in. Notice I haven't taken my gree, gree out yet. I locked that. And I can go ahead and set up my repel. ATC on. Okay. And so I can go ahead, so now I have my rappel on, I can go ahead and uh, get this relatively tight, but it, it still needs to have enough slack to get uh, the gree, gree out, okay? 
Um, so the prusik is weighted. I'll go ahead and take this grigri off. And I'm hands-free on a prusik, but I have the ATC and third hand as a backup. Okay. I also still have a catastrophe knot in. Okay. So now I can go ahead and get this nice and tight. My rappel before I do anything. So Patty, come get a, a close-up of this system, how it looks. Or actually, let me have the GoPro. Yeah. So just to give you a close-up of how this system looks, so we have the Prusik loaded, and then we have the rappel set up next to that with the line coming from the back side of the Prusik. I have my clove that I've been in the whole time uh, since I've been blank, and then I have my PAS, which is probably a little bit redundant, but it's just part of my rappel system. And so now I'm going to unload the Prusik, and which will load my rappel, and then I can get ready to uh, go down and get Patty. Okay, there you go. So to unload, I go ahead and take out the mule part of the munter. And I'll go ahead and try to mute this munter when I pop it, or the, the mule part, so the client doesn't feel that. I'll unload that a little bit, and now I can Go ahead and take this. Off. Now, uh, I might as well just keep this uh, because I'm going to have to go get Patty anyway. So I'll go ahead and uh, switch this to a clove for now that I can uh, adjust and I'll clip it to the bottom of my belay loop and lock it. And so this way, as I go get her, I can hold this uh, Prusik in place. Um, if for some reason the line on her end is unloaded, if let's say the rock fall damaged the rope, and this is a, a bad scenario to think about, but if it did unload, um, there's a chance that, okay, yes, you know, Patty's gonna, you know, have whatever fate there is of that fall, but um, this Prusik gives me a chance to still grab the rope and figure out what to do from there, okay? So I'm ready to repel at this point, so I can uh, undo my clove and PAS. Okay. Now you can see the only thing I have on this anchor system is the carabiner that I'm rappelling on. So now I can go get Patty. We'll just have her stay right there, but she could be extended down for quite a while. Let's see how that looks. So I I, this could be a long ways down, right? So I'm going to go get her right here. Okay. Oh, my catastrophe knot. Okay, so I've come to Patty. I have the Prusik all ready to do the pickoff. It's already in place. No time is wasted there. Um, I can move this up a little bit so that I don't, um, or to whatever level I want to be with her. And we can go ahead and descend together. So as I start to lower and that becomes tight, I will pull Patty down with me. Let's see. All right, and let's go together. Cool. See how that works? Cool. Hey, I hope you have found that video helpful on how to rescue a climber when you're belaying from the top. Uh, it's basically just a load transfer uh, from your Gricri onto a releasable Prusik. And then you set up the rappel on the back side of that Prusik before you take the Gricri off. Once you have your rappel set up with your ATC and third hand, 
which is the backup to your Prusik now. You can remove your Grigri, unload the Prusik, which will load your rappel, and then rappel down and pick off. Hey, I'll see you out the crag. If, if you haven't already, uh, like and subscribe to our, our channel, and I uh, really appreciate you tuning in. Thanks.